Scientists, public agencies and the private sector already collect many kinds of environmental data that can be used for the benefit of humanity. The Global Earth Observation System of Systems, or GEOS, gathers information from around the globe using space-based, airborne, marine and terrestrial monitoring systems. Recent technological innovations funded by the European Commission now make it possible for citizens to participate actively in collecting data and monitoring their environment. To explain the idea of citizens' observatories, we can look at any modern European city. Air pollution is a real problem, and most cities can only afford a small number of fixed measuring points. These give accurate but limited data coverage. Now imagine we could have numerous smaller measuring stations with individuals gathering data in real time. These mobile monitors, which in the near future will become smaller and easier to carry, can give us a more complete picture of air quality. This is made possible by the miniaturization of sensors combined with the transmission capacities of modern smartphones. Citizens will not only be helping to collect data, they will also get something useful in return. Real-time pollution maps, for example, could indicate alternative travel routes, helping cyclists to avoid heavily polluted zones. So the aim of citizens is to empower people in environmental decision making, to give them new tools to assess their environment, uh, bring them together in a citizen's observatory where they can discuss with other people about air pollution issues and try to influence decision making. Odors can be a real nuisance. They're hard to measure objectively and so cannot be regulated like other pollutants. Information from the citizens are, are important because uh, odor is a perception, it's not just a physical quantity. So we have to try to quantify the perception of the odors by the citizens. First, a number of e-noses are being set up around the factory. The e-noses are linked to an odor dispersion model. Neighboring citizens make an important contribution by inputting their own perceptions of odors via tablet, smartphone, or internet. Information provided by the citizens will be checked and verified with the other data. Both the public authorities and the industry source will have a better base for informed local action. European businesses can use these innovations to generate services to citizens, industry and governments, creating both wealth and job opportunities. Citizens can benefit not only from the mitigation of the odor nuisance, but also from having an active role in environmental governments. People have always been interested in observing their surroundings. Whereas observation satellites and in situ measuring stations are set up to monitor vast areas of ocean and coastlines, this could now be complemented with numerous smaller observations carried out by citizens. The widespread use of smartphones and the internet makes this possible. Simple apps will enable individuals to assess the transparency, color and fluorescence of seawater. These three parameters tell you a lot about the oceans, and particularly when you have the three together in one place and in many, many places, which is where citizens come in. Citizen science, I mean, the idea of the public getting involved in environmental monitoring is really important because it's not possible for government agencies to cover the kind of area and get the level of monitoring that you need. The citizen source data will automatically be uploaded to the internet, archived, processed and finally made available through a mobile application or web page. So citizen suddenly has this, I can do it, attitude and wants to contribute and wants to be taken serious. The European Union is funding several pilot citizens' observatory initiatives. It's crucial that the data collected by citizens are made freely and openly available and accessible through the GEOS. Individuals will be recruited to play the role of observers through existing community groups and NGOs, schools and local authorities, plus word of mouth. Knowing that they will have greater influence over the development of their locality will give people a real incentive to become active citizen observers.